Hello, my beautiful boys and girls, my fluffy Dragon Foxes. Kevin Dragon Fox coming at you with a beat with another video review. This time, we're going back to the past. Why, I may say? Why are we going back to the past and looking at a toy from the fourth live action Transformers movie? Ignore that. Um, well, I think I have a special reason. This is my favorite Dinobot. This is Scorn. Deluxe class Scorn. Uh, the Voyager from last from the last night. This is Voyager class Scorn from Age of Extinction. All the way back in what, 2012, I want to say? Uh... It doesn't say anywhere on the box. <clears throat> oh, 20, 2013. 2013, right there. So this is the box. It came in. I got it off of eBay. And, well, that's about it. This is Scorn, my favorite dinosaur, my favorite Dinobot ever, because it's based on one of my favorite dinosaurs ever, Spinosauruses. And this is my favorite depiction of a Spinosaurus. I know it's wrong nowadays, but I just like thinking about it. Kyoryuger had it. I just want this to be the depiction from now on, because this is nice. But yeah, he's done in red, plastic, silver dark gray and orange paint and plastic what well, and nice baby blue with lovely baby blues in the cor in the eyes articulation wise you can open his mouth but if you do so you might move the hand which is literally here I like to move this up a bit to make it look like he has a bit of a frill on his head. You open his mouth, you can move his head from side to side. Don't move it up too much, otherwise this is gonna happen, but you can just move that down. This is more or less just a locking mechanism to keep it like that. But if you keep it this way, this serves to fill out the throat a bit. And it also thumps into place. Spines are done in gray, in gray plastic. They're also soft so you don't break them. They're lovely red and they're on hinges. Arms right here in red. They're on a ball joint so they go wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah, That's pretty much it. And I love the tail. The tail is done in metallic red and it just fades into the silver. Oh, it's so good. That's about it for the general design. Let's look into articulation. The head, like I said, can open and close. You can move the little hand to make it look like it is real. Turn side to side, up and down. Ball jointed. Ball jointed arms. Legs, if you don't unhinge them, can move about forward, back, or on a ball joint. And that's about it. Tail can't really move since it's just pegged since it's sort of pegged into place, but if you undo it, eh, the same amount. All right, transformation time, baby. So what you're gonna wanna do is start with the legs. So just grab him, move the dino arms up, move his hips forward while also taking this bit and flipping it down. This is important. Next, you're gonna want to turn, flip the arm section down, which is on this little block of plastic and then turn the entire figure which in turn will start moving things up here let me show you again it's like a nice little auto changing thing so before we work on the torso let's finish up the arms thump the um on an accordion the legs like this flip this down and then do that then you're going to want to take the toe the middle toe the middle claw Flip it forward. And while you're also at it, that. It buffs out the leg a lot. 
Do the same thing over here, straighten out the leg, fold out the leg flaps, flip up the toe and flip down that. Now you have his legs all done. These I just like to uh, fold up to his back. Now with the arms, just straighten them down. With this one, you're gonna wanna straighten, turn around, flip it until it clicks into place, and then flip the hand down until it clicks into place. See? Then you're gonna wanna take the spines, flip them down until they click into, until they go into these little slots on the back, and then pull up the head. And there we have Scorn in his robot mode. There we go. And he's one of the coolest looking Dinobots. He has a whole he has a whole tail for an arm. And this tail holds a secret. If you grab this spike down here, you have a little dagger in which he can hold. But I don't usually have him hold it. I just ha keep it in there because this is more of a sword. See? Ya. Articulation wise, he has shoulders. His arms can go up that far. Elbows can go up that far, given that up this far, out that far, about back that far. Same thing on this arm, although it still retains the neck joints, so you have a little bit of more playability. And the legs are the same. Head is on a ball joint, but it's very limited. And he does not have a waist joint, given that it's kind of pegged into place. Well, as for a size comparison, here he is with Captain Foxy from the FNAF figure line. Pretty much the same size, five inches tall. Oh yeah, I, it took me a while to get that entire background set up again. Hey, it looks nice for now. I'll be updating it as we go along. Yeah, we got a Skylander because I'm still a big fan of that. Gemstones because yes. I don't even have my Omega figure over there. Eh, I'll get on it later. But yeah, that was a deluxe class Scorn. He he has he still has those baby blues. And also, they, they use the toy heads for the movie, so best part. <laughs> and that's all I have to say about my favorite Dinobot. Um, I will show, if I ever do Volcanicus, which I probably won't. Um, oh, yeah. To give him a gun like the other Dinobots, I just get take this that I got from uh, Age of Extinction Crosshairs or I think the last night Hot Shot and just give him that. Modern si modern problems need modern situations. Need pro. I cannot talk for crap today. Modern problems need pro modern solutions, not situations. What the hell? But yeah. Oh wait, I think he. No wait. If he if I turn his hips, then his arms are gonna go down. So yeah, that's all he has to offer. He's a cool little character. Only showed up in one movie. But managed to get, I think, two figures. The Voyager is the most sought after one. I, I, I know why. I just like that it's more expensive. And I went for this because it looks more iconic to me. If you like what you see here, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll try to start uploading more, but no promises. Still getting in a groove of reviewing. If you like, like I said, if you like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll be sure to get on things more. I know I just fudge. Share this with all your friends if you can. Please, I'm desperate. I will see you guys around. Bye-bye.